Hello, and welcome to Read Along with Heather. Today, we will be reading Henry Babysit by Robert Quackenbush. Quackenbush. Henry the Duck was enjoying a quiet day at home when the doorbell rang. It was Henry's friend Clara with her baby nephew. Would you like babysitting for my nephew, she asked. Henry was not so sure. He knew how to babysit. It's easy, said Clara. It's my nephew's nap time, and he'll be fast asleep. Henry said he would be glad to babysit. When Clara left, he put her, ne he put her baby nephew on the couch and went back to reading his paper. The doorbell rang again. It was Henry's next door neighbor. I saw Clara bringing her nephew over, she said. Can you watch my baby too? She'll be no trouble. Henry was a good neighbor, so he said yes. As soon as the neighbor left, the kitten began to cry. Henry was afraid she would want to wake Clara's nephew. He ran to get some milk for the kitchen for the kitten, but he had no milk. Just then the bell rang the doorbell rang. I heard you were babysitting this afternoon, Henry, said another neighbor. Would you please sit for, with baby Amanda? Henry saw the bottle of milk in baby Amanda's hands, so he agreed to watch her. Henry sat baby Amanda down. He took her bottle and poured the, a little of the milk into a dish. He gave the milk to the kitten and the bottle back to Amanda. Now both babies were happy, and Clara's nephew was fast asleep. Suddenly, baby Amanda began to cry. Henry tried, tried burping her, but that didn't work. Maybe he need, she needs changing, he thought. But I have no diapers. The doorbell rang again. It was another neighbor with another baby. I heard you were babysitting, said the neighbor. Will, would you please watch my baby? He'll be no trouble at all. He may just need a clean diaper. When Henry saw the box of diapers, he said he would babysit. In a flash, Henry changed baby Amanda and the monkey too. He mopped his brow with relief. Clara's nephew was still fast asleep. Meanwhile, the kitten had finished her milk and wanted to play. But Henry had no toys. The kitten started to meow. Baby Amanda started to cry. Henry wished he had some toys. Once again, the doorbell rang. It was still another neighbor with another baby for Henry. Just give him this ball to play and he'll be no trouble, said the neighbor. Henry took the puppy and the ball inside. Quickly, Henry tossed the ball to the kitten and baby Amanda. They stopped crying and started to play, but the puppy wanted to play too, so he began to chase the kitten. Round and round the room ran the kitten and the puppy. Baby Amanda thought this was fun. She began shaking her bottle, splashing milk everywhere. The monkey saw baby Amanda shaking her bottle. He thought it would be fun to throw things. Lamps and books and flower pots went crashing to the floor. Oh, it's, it's pretty chaotic. Windows smashed. Curtains fell. Henry could not stop what was happening. At last it was quiet. The babies were tired and they fell fast asleep. Henry looked around. Poor Henry. His house was a mess. The babies were still sleeping when the neighbors came to take them home. The neighbors thanked Henry for being such a good babysitter. Then Clara, Clara came to pick up her nephew. She wondered herself why Henry's house was such a mess. But when she saw her nephew was still asleep, she knew everything was all right. You see, Henry, said Clara, babysitting is easy. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the end of Henry Babysits.